Mosquitoes can transmit a number of human diseases. Malaria is perhaps the most well-known, but other diseases such as dengue fever, yellow fever, and West Nile encephalomyelitis can infect many people each year. Chikungunya is a mosquito-borne disease caused by a virus that was first described in Tanzania in 1952. It's now been seen in over 100 countries on five continents. Chikungunya outbreaks have become more common in the past 10 years, some of which have infected over 1 million people. While we're still learning a great deal about the virus and the disease, it appears that the recent increase is a result of changes in both the virus and in the mosquitoes that transmit it. People become infected by chikungunya virus after being bitten by an infected mosquito. The virus replicates in the person who then infects subsequent mosquitoes when they're fed upon, completing the virus life cycle. People usually become sick within a week or two after being bitten by an infected mosquito. Over three quarters of infected people will usually develop symptoms, which appear suddenly and include fever, a characteristic rash, digestive problems, and joint pain. The joint pain and stiffness can potentially last for months to years. Rarely, people may develop neurological symptoms. Because the chikungunya virus must be transmitted through the bite of an infected mosquito, transmission must occur where the mosquitoes can live. Most commonly, chikungunya virus is transmitted by two species of mosquitoes, Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. These mosquitoes are widespread, and therefore, chikungunya outbreaks have occurred nearly everywhere that these mosquitoes are found, including the Americas, Africa, Asia, and Europe. In the last few years, large chikungunya outbreaks have been reported in the Americas, including introductions in the United States. One of the explanations for the increasing distribution of chikungunya is that Aedes albopictus has itself been spreading across the globe. Albopictus, or the Asian tiger mosquito, is native to Southeast Asia, but has been transported, often in shipments of goods, across the globe. And once in a new place, albopictus is very good at establishing and often outcompeting native species of mosquitoes. Since 2005, chikungunya outbreaks have been increasing in severity. Scientists have found that the virus has been evolving to more easily infect Aedes albopictus mosquitoes. As albopictus is spread across the globe, so has chikungunya evolved to be better transmitted by albopictus. Scientists are concerned that this evolution of chikungunya could mean a higher risk of disease outbreaks as albopictus continues to establish in new areas and the virus becomes better suited to use this mosquito as its vector. There is no treatment currently available for chikungunya. No effective drugs or vaccines exist. But there are many areas of active research looking for ways to treat, control, and stop this virus. Control of the disease is limited to control of the mosquito vectors and avoidance of mosquito bites by people. There are many avenues of research underway to control this virus, ranging from the development of a vaccine to release of genetically modified mosquitoes. The latter, which kind of sounds fanciful, can be used to decrease mosquito populations or spread traits through the mosquito population that makes them less effective at transmitting. This has a direct benefit of limiting chikungunya, but might also be helpful at reducing other mosquito-borne diseases.